Hi guys, it's Sprout here, and um, this video is going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be like a talking ch video, and I'm going to be explaining like a challenge I created. So since it's kind of longer, I've broke the video up into three parts. The challenge itself, which will be first for people who just want to quickly see what the challenge is. And then after that, I'm going to be talking about each part of the challenge a little bit more. And then at the very end, I'm going to be talking about Brown's completed challenge. So in order to create this challenge, I uh, played a whole game as a wolf named Brown, and he lived by the Sprout Pack rules, and I'll kind of talk about all of that later. But um, if you have Wolf Quest and you like Wolf Quest, this video probably is going to interest you, and I'm very excited. So let's get on with the challenge. So some of you guys might be confused on what a game challenge is. So you might know games like Pokemon that have Nuzlocke challenges or The Sims that has leg legacy challenges or like the Not So Berry challenge. Um, they're pretty much just like made up fan extra rules to a game to make it different or more interesting. Um, and like a game like Wolf Quest where you can replay, you know, years and years, especially now with the perks, I thought I would try to make my own challenges based off my Legends of Blood uh, story game series. So the first one I have is Sprout Pack. So what is Sprout Pack? Well, Sprout Pack is a group of wolves that lives in the Legends of Blood series. They are currently led by Oak, the Alpha, and worship the Pup God. Below is how you complete the Sprout Pack Challenge and become a true Sprout Pack Wolf. At the end of your wolf's life, either Endless Summer or by the age system, count how many stars you have below. If your wolf has enough stars, the Pup God will let them into the Endless Fields to join them in the afterlife. If not, they will be sent back as a new wolf and have to try again. To enter, you need at least 100 stars. Wolves who gain 200 stars can be joined in the Hall of Fame. So how do you earn stars? Well, stars are earned by doing different things or not doing certain things during your gameplay. They're broken up into three categories, mates, territories, and pups, kind of to follow the three main missions of getting a mate, claiming the territory, and then having the puppies. So let's do mates first. So if you, as long as you get any mate, which I think the game requires you to do, you get five uh, stars. If you stay with the mate forever, you get 20 stars. So that means if they die, you can't remate or, um, you know, whatever, no matter what, if you play the whole eight years, like you have to stay with the same mate. At the end of the game, if you stay with them, 20 points or 20 stars is yours. Uh, you always want to try to keep her heart always full. And so this one, you know, if it's a low little bit, you know, and you actively are trying the whole time, then you can give yourself the five points. Next is territory. So at least 10 hexes on the, has to be on the sprout territory. And I'm going to put a map up here of the sprout territory. And so any 10 there, and then the other five, you can either continue to stay in sprout or go somewhere else. Totally up to you, but at least 10, and then you get 10 stars. If a fellow pack member fights you for a hex, you must abandon it. Now, some of these I'm going to explain more um, afterwards, but these, you know, if you are a uh, out trying to get territory and another sprout pack member comes and fights you, you have to leave the at hex and you can't try to reclaim it. Um, staying at the same den until the pups are 15 pounds. So yeah, you want to stay at the exact same place and I'll kind of again give more information after I read these all about each one. You get 20 stars for that. Pups. Um, if you name all your pups nature or plant theme names, you get 10 stars. You must never kill any predators, only chase them out. So this mostly includes um, any of the predators that are going to attack your pups. You can't kill a coyote, you have to just chase them out, which I know is, is trust me, is hard. But that's what the pup god wants. Don't kill, just chase out. And you get 20 points, or 20 stars. You must never kill another wolf. So you enemy wolves, dispersal wolves, um, your own pack, like you can't ever kill a wolf. You can chase them off and fight them, but you can't kill them. And if you do that, you get um, 20 stars. 
If a Sprout Pack member attacks you, you must move dens. So if you're at your den and a, another a fellow Sprout Pack wolf attacks you, you have to leave that den um, pretty much immediately and go find another den. And the last one in the pup section is a special location-based one. And I think every single challenge I make is gonna have one of these because they're really fun. Um, so while traveling to the rendezvous site, you have to stay one night at this sacred site. Um, which I put a picture of the location and where it is hex-wise, and I will explain why that's so important more in the lore part of me explaining things, so keep watching if you want to know the lore. Um, and the final part is the optional god mode. So this is if you want to get on the Hall of Fame, if you, you know, really want to devout yourself to the pack and to the pup god, you know, so this is what you can do. You can howl thank you before every meal. And yes, that means every single snack pack, which is our rabbit or hare. Um, before you eat, you and your family all have to howl. And then another one is never bite another wolf. So that means no attacking, like no nothing. Pretty much a completely like passive run. Um, and both of those will give you 30 each, which um, if you do that plus a bunch of the normal ones, you can get 200 points. So I hope that kind of briefly explained. And now let me get into why each of these are a rule. All right, so this part is a little more relaxed, a little more, uh, I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about the lore and stuff. And in the background is actually our boy Brown, which I will be talking more specifically about at the end of this video. But uh, okay, let's get into it. Okay, so the first category, pretty simple, it's mates. Um, I, you know, you have to get one in order to continue, but this is the way Sprout Pack feels about mates. Um, any mate is fine, so whether they are from another pack, whether they're a loner, if they have a caller, like, the, like everything's fine. Any mate you want is totally fine in Sprout Pack. Um, and then Sprout Pack believes in staying with that mate forever, or um, like staying, staying with that mate forever, and if, even if they die, like you, you don't ever get another mate again. Like that's it. So um, like you know, which is it's kind of tragic in a way. Like if a young female wolf, you know, maybe her mate dies at a young age, like she could never have any more puppies. At least not in the clan's eyes. You know, that could be drama for your story. But uh, yeah, so if you stay with your mate the whole time, you get twenty stars. And then you always want to keep your heart, your mate's heart happy because you just like, you really want to love your mate and you can pick any mate you want so you're not forced um, to kind of, you know, choose someone you don't love. Like you, Sprout Pack members genuinely love their mates, which it's, um, to me it was really fun role playing with Brown and trying to keep Starlet is his mate's name, her affinity or her um, heart always full like it just you know we were always like playing with each other it just I think it really did help the gameplay so that's these three um, mate parts okay next part next is the territories which was actually really fun for me so I knew that I wanted to have it to where you needed to have at least 10 hexes on the green um, pack the, I think Junction Butte is their name in game, but we call them the Sprout Pack. So you have to take over 10 of theirs. But so in the game, the way the packs work is that there's an alpha and he leads the pack, but inside of the pack is a bunch of different families. Like there'll be, you know, a bunch of different couples that all have their dens and they all share land for the most part. Um, and I think even wolves inside of the pack can fight each other for dens or fight each other for space, which is why sometimes in your game, you will have a fellow Sprout um, pack member fight you but also, you know, it's kind of like in their pack, you're not supposed to fight each other. So like if, if a wolf is fighting you, like they're not being a good wolf, you know, you're supposed to be a good wolf and you just give them the territory or later give them the den because you, you know, obviously if they need it more than you, Sprout Pack is very much about helping your pack mates. So while you're traveling um, and claiming your 10, at least 10, sprout hexes if an, the sprout pack other wolves fight you you have to abandon it so you have to be like okay fine if this is y'all's land i'm sorry i didn't know like i'll go over here now this might make it kind of hard uh when i played i 
was only fought on one tile. The other tiles I managed to get no problem. So, you know, maybe if uh, your your wolf ends up getting attacked a lot, maybe they're not liked in Sprout Pack, you know? Like, maybe that's a whole thing. Now maybe they are not liked, and now you have to earn the trust of your clan, or clan, your, your pack, you know? Like, you could do a lot with that. I think that could be a very fun thing. So, um, yeah, the, and then the last one, stay in the same den until the puppies are 15 pounds. So something that I did is I claimed my 15 hexes in the very beginning, and then I just kind of let, um, like, them kind of fade the outer ones, but we pretty much had, like, three hexes that the den was in the middle, and then there was three hexes, and I... The pups were raised in that same area like the whole time. We didn't move dens. We slept outside almost every night to keep the fleas down. But it was just so beautiful. I felt so safe there and I really knew like where to go to find food. And I think staying in that small area was really like cute and wholesome. And I think that's what Sprout Pack is about. Like they, they have their little area in Sprout Pack and they kind of stay there and they raise their puppies. So... If you stay at the same den and say your puppies are 15 pounds, you get 20 stars. Okay, pup time. Oh, this, all right, let's go guys. So if you name all of your pups, either nature or plant theme names, you get 10 stars. Um, and so it, they can be pretty much anything that is, you know, nature or plant. Um, feel free to get creative, you know, this one's kind of just like a give me, you know, just so your theme is sprout back. Um, you must never kill any predators or only chase them out. So Sprout Pack and the Pup God, they're very much like, you know, more pacifists and they don't want to kill unneededly. Um, they're like, if we can chase them out, you know, let's just do that. There's no need for all the blood, all the chaos, which... Man, this part was hard for me and as brown because I, every time a coyote came, I wanted to like slaughter them. Like every time they tried to hurt my pup, um, but I had to be like, no, you know, just chase them out and go back to your pups. Like it's not worth it. So that one was hard. But if you can do that the whole game, you get 20 stars. You also must never kill any other wolf. So this includes, you know, enemy packs trying to hurt your pups, or um, if you find lone wolves, you know, any wolf in the game, you're if you're not supposed to kill them. You can fight them, you can chase them off, you can attack them, you can get them real low. I, I might have done that a few times, but you can't kill them. If you kill them, then you don't get the 20 points. But if you don't kill any wolves, you get your 20 stars. Um, if a sprout pack member attacks, you must move dens. So lore wise, I think that, um, like I said a little bit earlier, there's a, you know, maybe hundreds of wolf families that all share this sprout, um, pack and that all, you know, look up to Oak, the leader, but they all have their own lives, their own land, their own family. So if you get attacked by other sprout wolves, um, it's kind of seen like, oh, they want this den or like they need this den more than us. Like they're pretty much bullying you out. Now, if you weren't a Sprout Pack, you know, you could fight them and be like, no, this is mine. But you, if you want to be a good Sprout Pack wolf and follow the challenge, you have to give up the den and be like, okay, you know, you guys can have this. You can still chase them off, you know, but then it's kind of seen as a sign like, okay, you have to go. So yeah, that, oh, that's kind of a hard one. Uh, but if you do that, you get 20 stars. So that's like kind of a big one. You try to keep your pack affinity always high. So a big thing about Sprout Pack is you spend most of your time, if not all your time, with your puppies and with your mate in your home, pretty much. And it was so fun for me because you really don't care too much about the territory. You really just stay in your area. And just keeping the pack affinity always full was just like a fun little challenge to do. And it um, made this little part like more interesting. So if you do that, um, you get five stars. Okay, the big one, the location challenge. So this was so cool. Um, as I was playing as Brown, I haven't really, uh, in my other series, got to explore the other packs, like, territories, actually. So this was so much fun because I found this cool little, like, abandoned cabin area. And so I thought lore-wise that it said that the pup god, when, um, in, when she was a real wolf, 
uh, and she was like fleeing from her parents who were fighting, she found like sanctuary here in these abandoned houses. And that's how she was able to, you know, grow up and get older is because she found shelter here. So I think that's just like a folklore nowadays that the wolves tell, but I think it's seen as like a very good thing for um, all the wolves. One night they go and they take their pups here and there's some grass right outside. And we did this in my, in my playthrough, but we went here and we told our pups about this story and we spent the night here on this journey whenever you go to the rendezvous site. So if you decide to live where I lived in my gameplay or somewhere closer, it might not be hard, but if you live far away for some reason and you really still want to make this trip, like you can do it. And uh, I think that would just be super interesting. Um, and you get 15 uh, stars for that, but I might bump that up to 20 because it's kind of a difficult one, but we'll see, but we'll see. you get uh, 15 stars for that. Oh, okay god mode so this is optional and this god mode is mostly for people who want to get on the hall of fame which i'll also talk about after this but uh so you how thank you before every meal pretty much basically what it says is that um, Sprout Pack is very vocal when they're sad they howl when they're happy they howl um, when they're trying to talk to the pup god they howl um, Recently, in, in my Let's Play, which I'll explain a little bit more, um, one of Brown's pups got sick, and so he was howling and howling every single night, asking, you know, and then it started raining, and the pup god, like, you know, answered him and washed away the sickness, and she got better, and so I really think that's a part of Sprout Pack, where um, you howl thank you before every single meal, and um, you can get 30 stars for that game, if you remember every single time. And then another one is never biting another wolf. So you never sink your teeth. And no matter what they're doing to you, you know, you have to stay peaceful. And I think that would be really hard. So that's why these two are extra. Like if you really want to do hard, hard, hardcore mode and get on the uh, wall of fame, like you, you could do it. And I will be super impressed. I would love to see <laughs> if people actually manage to do this. So what is this Hall of Fame? And I'm only going to put this picture up for a few seconds because I know some people are probably watching the video in the background and I don't want to distract them. So um, feel free to pause the video if you missed that or there's a website that has all this information on it which will be linked below. But uh, okay, so back to the Hall of Fame. Um, I'm not sure how often I'll update this or how many people, I don't know how popular this is going to get honestly, um, <laughs> but I thought it would be really cool for if people who, you know, get 200 points and really, you know, try really hard, I will, if they send me two screenshots, one of their family tree, just so I can see you had a family and, you know, there were names, Sprout Pack and stuff like that. But another screenshot, um, it can be any screenshot of your gameplay with that wolf, I'll add it and the date to this Hall of Fame, just for people to look at and your wolf can always be here and just some little, like, gold star for you for you know completing my silly little challenge um but that's all this is so i have an email there feel free if you complete it to email me um and if you make a video of your like your challenge or anything you could let me know too and i can link it um in case people are seeing other playthroughs because i am i'm i'm very excited to uh, do all of this with you guys but yeah, so that's the Hall of Fame, and that's kind of everything explained. So, now, if you guys are still here, I will get into more about Brown's actual life story and his tribulations. Hi, guys. So, all right, everyone, get comfortable, strap in. This last part is going to be probably very, very long. So what I'm doing is I'm speeding up my footage and the footage was about seven hours of playthrough. So this is sped up and I think I'm just gonna do a live like voiceover where I kind of just give my commentary and talk about what happened. Um, and in the future, I might do like another long playthrough and I'll have like the game background music and I'll just have a seven hour, you know, if people want to watch that. Or if you would rather have something like this where it's sped up, um, I can do that too. So I guess I'll talk about kind of what's happened so far. Um, Brown is our Sprout Pack Wolf. He went out into the world. He found Starlet. Um, I don't think she was originally from Sprout Pack. I think she was kind of a loner. And, uh, he fell in love with her. And then we started this game. 
And, uh, oh gosh, we're sliding down there. So I wanted to do the Sprout Pack Challenge, and we took over, like, all the hexes we needed to, and you'll see a few times, like, where we are. And then we had three beautiful puppies. We had, there were three females. Um, we had Pebble, Ant, and Seed. And we stayed in this little, like, um, ravine area, like, their whole childhood, and it was really awesome. And something I really loved about this area, it just felt like safe and the hills, mountains were kind of hard to climb. So it made me feel like a little bit better, like and more protected. I don't know. I just, I really love this location and I want to like play as one of his daughters maybe and have her stay at this location too. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know which daughter. I kind of want to do Pebble because she's really pretty, but yeah, so it was cool. So I would go up and over the mountain on the other side and do hunting and stuff. And that way, like, if I hunted, the carcass wasn't right by the house. It was, like, over a mountain. Um, but here, me and Starlet, we worked together a lot. Um, we would put the puppies away, and then me and her would go out and hunt and both eat and then bring back. Because we stayed at the den most of the time. I think right now I'm just, like reinforcing um, my territory which I actually didn't do that often um, because the territory stayed pretty like good for the most part so there was only a few times where I went out and usually it was times I was like already kind of hunting up oh, we found another den there I think our puppies are only like five pounds now so we we definitely have a bit to go until they get to um, 10 pounds but we do get attacked a few times and you know some some stuff happens I don't even very much remember uh when I played this I played from like I played the first like five hours straight I was up all night but it was so much fun um oh we caught like an elk over there but it was it was really fun to just play a whole thing start to finish because you got to get really immersed like immersed in it and the story and oh we found a bison like carcass which is really cool a lot of water over here but honestly like I don't know he doesn't like mind the water too much and so this is the first time I found this like cabin area and I thought it was the coolest thing in the whole world so what I decided is that so the legend of the pup god is that um, there was a family of wolves and the parents split up leaving the the pup to live on her own and so I think that she found these like human like remain like houses you know the, these abandoned houses and she lived in there and it helped protect her from like predators and stuff and so now right now in in the legends of blood world i think it's seen as like this tradition that you always bring your pups you know over to sleep one night in this area to pay respect and like i'm just i'm so excited to see if there's any more like cool things like that oh gosh here's a wolf okay all right so we got all the puppies in and this was gem pack so we we did fight gem pack a lot because we're pretty close to their border um and there were so many times where i wanted to like like kill them but i was like no you know part of this is not killing um other wolves um we definitely bit them we definitely attacked them but we didn't kill them Oh, fleas are starting to get like 13%. Um, and I didn't know that like later in the game it, it affects you. You know, you start itching and you can't stop. Like that was, that was kind of intense. But we were, I really wanted to stay at this den the whole time just to see if it was like possible. Um, I don't think our fleas ever got to be like 100, but they, they were like 60, 70. They were, they were pretty bad. They were like severe, but we were just waiting for, um, for seed she was the smallest. Oh, it's snowing here. <gasps> oh, cougar. There's a cougar. Oh, sometimes the coyotes are hard to see. Or I couldn't find the cougar, I think, right now. Oh, there there we go. Ugh. It was hard because I wanted to chase them for so long. But, you know, I was like, no. Oh, this was the first beaver. So I'm playing on the beta, and there was a beaver. And he just straight up, like... Oh my gosh, and I learned how to beaver hunt, and I love this territory because, like, the beaver was right there, and they're, like, all their stuff, so I could just easily go down there, and they were pretty easy to kill, um, as long as they weren't, like, in the water, because then they just swim underwater, and you can't get them, but 
here I am getting the pack affinity up, getting the, the mates like heart up. I guess I paused the screen for a minute, probably went to go get a water or something. I'll forgive myself. Okay, we're saving. <laughs> pups are going, oh, we slept one snowy because it was snowing with the pups. Oh, oh, I think we're almost at like seven or eight. Oh, they had to get to 15. That's, that's what it is. Um, oof. It was really fun, though, spending all the time. You really got to, like, interact with the, like, pups and see their personalities and take really cute pictures. Oh. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is play another year because I'm actually playing Brown on the aging system, and I think he's going to have a lot of puppies. Um, and so I think I'm actually going to play another round and see what how many puppies he has with um, Starlet again in this same area. Because eventually, with the age system, you can become better parents. Like, one of the perks is, like, the puppies automatically go in the den when there's danger, and, like, they get less sick and stuff like that so I would love for him to just be like a prominent you know wolf in sprout pack and him and starlet just provide the pack with like lots of like little little sprout oh another beaver they bite though those beavers they, they bite so if you are still watching this and you like this kind of gameplay where I'm just kind of chatting over um i would totally do another round with with brown and we could do you know like an hour-long movie where it's like i.e we get to see this sped up footage um fight oh this bear i didn't want him to get close to the the pups because it was kind of close but if you yeah if you like this definitely let me know um i think it's really fun really cool i like finding interesting ways to like tell stories and uh I like, I like um, individual episodes as well because that leaves room for you guys to influence it. But I think also just having like straight up long like gameplay is also really fun too. Um, I like to listen to long videos and stuff if I'm working. Oh, there's coyotes. Oh, I wanted to kill him. One time I almost killed one. Maybe it's that guy. No, I killed a snack pack next to him though because I wanted to. But if I'm working on something or like drawing or working on animation, um, I like to just listen to people kind of talk in the background. Like I listen to Critical Role and stuff. A little bit of it. I'm not like an expert. But so I thought maybe people might like this. Or if you, you know, like watching this, like also cool. Because I would totally watch and listen to someone play Wolf Quest and talk about their OCs. Oh, we can't because, okay, so we fought with someone. Who are we fighting? I think it's another, oh, it's another Sprout Wolf. Okay, so we got into a little spat with the, with the Sprout Wolf. Oh, I think it's this. There was some tile that it wouldn't let me take. There was just like a ton of wolves, but that might, that might be later. We're back home now, thankfully. And it was kind of cool. Like, we were on this little feeding schedule with the puppies. Like, I'd feed them, we'd play, we'd sleep, I'd feed them, we'd go out, maybe hunt or stay the day there. And then, like, it just made it go by really fast. And it, <gasps> oh, okay, wolves. There's more wolves. I, I always chase them because I want to know what, who they're from. <gasps> it was a sprout. Oh, no. Okay, so if I had realized this, like, I guess... I, some of the, the challenge rules I made afterwards, like, um, because I wanted to figure out what would work. So, in the game, if he was playing, like, you know, he should have moved dens. But I think he broke, you know, his little, like, the, the, I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. I guess it's just the, the rules of the pack. You know, he broke the, he, the rule. He didn't move dens, but... I don't know. Brown's still a young wolf, but I think he really wants to make a name for himself in the pack and um, grow old. Ugh, I would love to do all, mm -hmm. like, eight years and have him, like, die naturally in-game. So, if you guys like this, let me know, because I would love to try it with Brown. I'm going to probably do it on my own anyways, but... Oh, we're all sleeping, hanging out. In the mornings, I always get worried, because as soon as I wake up, I'm scared there's going to be a predator. Oh, we're at 10, 10 pounds, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're almost at 10. And these, I'm, I was so thankful. These puppies like to eat. Like, they, there was no problems really with them eating. And they didn't really uh, wander um, very much. Pebble, Pebble got lost just now. And I think Seed also got lost at one point. But, eh, for the 
the most part, they really weren't that bad. And there was only three of them. Um, oh, I'm fighting some beavers here, but they... <gasps> oh my gosh, my dog scared me. I think she just woke up. <laughs> um, I'm hunting over here. Can't eat anymore. Yeah, we never had it. And I was, pray I was playing on easy also, but we never really... We didn't have any pup deaths. We didn't really have any issues um, other than when Ant got sick. But that's after we go to the rendezvous site. That's like a little a little in the future. We slept a lot, but they were they were pretty tired. I guess it's because we constantly were playing with the puppies. Like we were always home. They weren't like in the den all day. They were like only in the den truly when they were sleeping and not even like all the time. Oh, I love it when, oh, Ooh, is it a cougar? Yeah, a cougar. Oh, I was so mad. I was so mad I paused the game, apparently. <laughs> this is the first time I'm re-watching, so some, some of this stuff I don't even really remember, but chased it off into the river, marked around. Oh, the rendezvous site like, was really fun. I had never gotten that far in this game yet. And I actually really enjoyed living, like, out of the grass and stuff. And honestly, with Apollo, which, oh my gosh, I know if y'all are watching this way later, I'm excited to do just wandering with Apollo and have the pups, like, not have a den. I'm, I'm excited for that. But I guess we're, we're, we're exploring and going, going a little bit further to reinforce. Every time something attacks and I know I can't kill it, like, I want to go out and, like, mark because I'm, like, stop attacking my daughters. Like... <laughs> I really kind of got in character with Brown, and it was just like, oh, the bison's still here. It was just so fun. I really recommend playing, like, in long chunks of, like, you never have or, like, never really tried. Like, kind of like to try to challenge yourself. But if you had to take breaks, of course, you know. I had to take, I think I took two breaks while doing this. I did, like, five hours and then, like, one hour and then one hour. Mm -hmm. Oops. But after this was over, I pretty much almost memorized this small area that I was living in. And I loved that. Like, I just want to very slowly memorize. Oh, we're at 10 pounds. Yeah, so 10 and 11 pounds. So I'm only 5 pounds away until we we travel. And the, tra the traveling was uh, pretty fun on its own. But, uh, yeah, I mean, these, these three pups had a really good life for the most part. They are, both of their parents were with them all the time. Um, they never got, like, attacked, really, um, or, like, because I know some of the predators will pick them up and, like, run away with them, like, bears, and you still can try to, like, save them, but, like, none of that even happened with us. Um, they were, they were pretty good pups, um, and I, you guys are able to adopt them. I don't know if I mentioned that, I actually don't think I mentioned that at all in this video. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, you can play as uh, one of these three daughters. It's on the website that I will link below. And uh, it tells you how to download it and load it in your game. But, yeah, if you're interested in playing as them, I would love to. And at the very end of this video, I show what they look like as an adult. So it'll be worth it if you watch till the very end. Oh, we're at the border now. We're hunting a mule deer, a buck mule deer. There we go. Sometime. Oh, we're back home. Oh, I was kind of worried because that, that mule deer was pretty close to home. But, oof. <laughs> Bio. Brown is a strong and aggressive wolf. I mean, not wrong. He is, I think, a little bit more. Which is why he didn't follow the sprout sprout law 100%. But, it's fine. oh, this bitch is so cute. Starlet's so pretty. Her coat, she's like that black and then the like kind of like a light golden brown on the bottom but seeing all the pups like doing different things was super cool the animation and everything is really just like <laughs> really cool in this game oh i love just watching it like it's just so like interesting to really see them grow up and stuff all right 42 for fleas not bad that's why we're staying outside trying to Hanging out. Oh, I thought something happened. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? Nah, I'm sorry. I set them up. Get more of this uh, buck. The eagles. I was scared of those eagles. I, I knew that some type of bird could hurt your pups, but I wasn't sure, like, 
if it was those eagles or not, because some of them get kind of close to the puppies, the bald eagles and stuff, and I was getting, like, a little... I was scared at any point they were just going to fly off. It's kind of cool, though, that the birds do come when you have meat around. Like, it makes sense, but I didn't. I didn't appreciate it as uh, as brown. Me and Starlet are just, like, constantly bringing the puppies back. I think they could smell the carcass, and they really wanted to go over. Oh, there's another wolf. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? Who are you? I chased this one, I think, for a long time. I think this is Gem Pack. Yeah, he's going back. He's going back. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it might be the exact same one because he's kind of weak. Man, obviously some some gem pack um, wolf or that kind of lived around us had some issue with us being so close because that's not cool. Mm. Crescent never bothers us the whole time. I don't think we find one crescent wolf. How rude, Jim. How rude, gem pack. All right, 13 pounds. Oh, my gosh. Seed is at 11 pounds and Pebble is at 13. Pebble is a beast. Like, I even consider taking some of the gem pack, like, hexes. But then I really didn't want to be away from the pups. Like, I, I, I could have spent a day doing that. But then I would just have to keep up with it, plus the other ones. And I think I just ultimately decided not to. But now, I, I don't know if you can continue the same territory that you have, like, when you age up. I'm kind of hoping you can. I'll test that soon, but I'm hoping I can keep the territory and then just slowly adjust it over the years. <gasps> oh, here we go. Was it a cougar? Another cougar? Yeah. We had a, we had quite a few cougars. I think cougars were the most problem we had. Oh, we finished that carcass over there, which is nice because it was worrying me with the birds, but puppies always stay fed. Aw, Starlight was a really good mom. She wasn't a helicopter parent. Like, in my Leopard series, Bear is, like, a helicopter parent. Like, he does not let the puppies ever out of his sight. And while, like, Starlet, she would just, like, sit somewhere kind of far away and keep an eye on them and let them, like, we, we, we really wanted to let them explore uh, because part of Sprout Pack is them being one with nature, and that's why you stay in the same den so they can really get familiar with their settings and explore. And so we kind of tried not to be, like, a super hover parents but i think i think we did um ooh, 53 percent with the fleas and we still have five pounds to go this we cut it very close i will i will say and i think the video um is going to switch to my other recording which hopefully there won't be like too much of a weird in between thing that might happen soon oh no yeah i think it should just start okay yeah so we're back um, I just, oh, okay, we're at 14 pounds, 13 pounds, and 12 pounds. The three of the girls stayed a pound different, like, the whole time. Oh, I only see two puppies. Okay, there's a third one. <laughs> but, uh, it was pretty funny. They, they were always, like, a pound apart. Ooh, and now we got to hunt the little newborn, um, deers and elk and stuff, and that was cool. I had never gotten to play this, but... Trying to find the baby carcasses, which sounds horrible, I know, but and bringing them back to your puppies was just, like, really satisfying. Like, of course, very sad, but it was just, like, really cool and realistic and immersive. And, like, I know that's what the developers try to do is to be, like, extremely immersive. And I just, I think they did a really good job. Oh, here I was. I was, like, I had never gotten one. I didn't really know what it looked like. Pause the game for some reason. I wonder, I wonder how long I pause the game for. Let's, let's just wait and see if I, no, do I never come back? Do I, I can, I can speed, I can speed it up. Okay. Yeah, I think I go like, oh, okay, we're back, we're back. Um, we are back and I'm still looking and eventually... Eventually, I feel like I... Oh, there I go. I felt so bad. I snatched that baby, and then I was super proud. And he... But he was kind of itchy, so he was itching a lot. But we took some really regal pictures. Um, but yeah, we were definitely feeling the fleas. But I think that Sprout Pack sees the fleas as part of nature. They're like, oh, it builds characters. Oh, yes, I was itchy as a puppy too. You know, I think it's just kind of like a part of their culture is just 
growing up and always having fleas because you never left, you know, you never change dens like other packs do. Um, Oh, so this is the first big carcass for the girls. I don't know if they could eat it yet. I think I think they could. But yeah, they were nibbling off of it. Fleas are getting kind of bad, which made me worried. But eh, I figured it'd be fine. <laughs> I was like, this is, this is fine. This is fine. All right. We're just pup sitting pretty much. Oh, ant running away. Oh. We just like vibed like sprout pack just truly vibed oh then it started raining but the rain wasn't too bad it wasn't you know we like the rain here the goddess is speaking to us um i hope i don't pause let's see 15 pounds oh here's where ant ant right now oh no they're all at 100 percent. they're all full um Ant, I don't want to spoil anything, but something, something happens to Ant up here eventually. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, very, very sad, but that's okay. We're going to... Oh, okay, so one of the pups is at 15, and then we're just waiting for uh, the two others, which I think should happen. It usually doesn't take too many more days, I believe. But, yeah, we pretty much, I think at this point, are just... Yeah, time to leave soon, so... Now we get to see where all of them are, and uh, I wanted to scope out that, like, the one closest to us. <gasps> oh, and perfect timing. Eventually, Brown got really good. He would put the puppies up, and then, like, he would smell the predator, and so they were safe, and then he was like, okay, well, while I'm out, oh, he slid a few times, but that's okay. Sprout pack wolves need to know how to, like, you know, climb mountains and stuff, but he wanted to explore and then I was just so happy to see that it was really close to that sacred site and also there was a um a elk and a baby elk like right I thought something was gonna pop up here but eventually I realized it didn't but there was prey right there at the at the site and um he definitely saw that as like the pup god telling him like this is where you need to go and he was like you know what all right like where he brought this food back home to the pups to tell them the good news he was like you know pups we're gonna go on a big journey soon and you know you guys are old enough and it's beautiful and he was getting them he was like we're going to disneyland and they were like we're going to disneyland but instead of D disneyland it's the rendezvous site but i definitely think that like puppies see it kind of as like you know they're they're quinceanera or their bart mitzvah like like they see it as like a not like coming to adult age but coming to like teenager e ish age where they kind of remember things more and they're starting to form their own personalities but oh oh there's another wolf up oh, gem pack again this though this gem wolf he he goes like in the opposite direction and it makes me super nervous i really wish i could kill them but I, I remained peaceful for the most part. I did not kill Starlet doing a nice little perimeter. Oh, I took so many pictures because I was just so in love with this little family. Like, it was just, it was so wholesome. And, oh, I really hope I don't have to re-get the territory. Now I'm, like, thinking about that, but I guess we'll we'll see. And, you know what, if you have to, it might, it might not be the biggest thing in the world, but... Oh, puppies. Puppies. I think at this point we were just trying to fill them up. I knew where we were going to go. I think I marked down the map. Um, and so every day I was just, we were sleeping, we were eating, we were playing. Yep, I made them eat breakfast. He had them on like a schedule. He was like, all right, good morning, girls. Here's your food. You know, okay, now we're going to play. We're going to work out. Like, <laughs> I think he was very excited to be a father in general. <gasps> yes, here we go. Okay. This part is very exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I don't, I think, did I read this? Did I go AFK? Um, it basically just says like the pups are old enough. And so we have to move to this place where there's no more dens cause they're too big. They just, they hide in open grass and um you you know near water and stuff and it's really cool how spread out they are like if someone wanted to pick like a far away one they totally could but there wasn't that that many in sprout pack so 
um, what was I doing? I called everyone. Oh, I wanted to test it. So I was testing to see, and then we were we were off. I uh, I was nervous, but you know, luckily all three of the girls they kept pace, so I could see them when I was running. So it made me less worried. So we just. We traveled along the the river and I showed them, Brown showed them all of this beautiful area. We saw some elk, like, um, I think we might have seen some other little animals, but, and then it was time. So Brown took the girls to the sacred land and they got to play inside and hang out. And uh, we made this little patch of grass our home. Oof. There was a few coyotes around, which were a little scary, but we got rid of them. It was okay. Um, fed them breakfast. We made maybe some pancakes, you know, because we're at Disney World. And then, then we were off, and um, we it wasn't too much farther to the to the site. And we called it the Blessed Land because I think that this like place really is kind of connected to that Blessed Land. I like that there was a bunch of different. Um, patches oh we found an elk really close which kind of makes me nervous because bears i'm really scared of like a bear coming because they're pretty big but both me and starlet got to eat and then we brought a few chunks over for the girls and they did such a good job just kind of vibing where am i off to i guess i'm going just to secure around here um oh there so there is this sprout hex that okay we got there must be a very big family that lives on that hex because i think we tried like twice to go in there and to claim it so we decided not to but the good thing is they never came and attacked us i don't believe i'm like 99 percent sure so they were just telling us like hey this is our land oops and we're not gonna we're not gonna get rid of it which you know is 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 valid um but oh more screenshots oh no so oh this is where this is where poor little aunt got sick and i was just like really sad about it what am i doing am i just sitting here are the puppies just feral am i away from the computer what is happening this is the first time I'm rewatching it, so I could have went to go pause and accidentally left it going. <gasps> we lost a puppy. Oh my gosh, this is this is so scary. I obviously didn't realize that that was happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, that could have been very bad. Brown. Ooh, scary. Okay, well we're we're. we're still you know we're still having a good time over here it's 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 not the same as our den and it's still pretty new but eventually we we get used to it and, and we like it a lot but uh five in here with the girls I'm trying to see what they weigh i'll see if it um pops up long enough for me to see at this point oh there's some coyotes oh this coyote was very close though and i i i You'll see, I almost did. I didn't kill him, but I really, really considered it because he came really close and I didn't appreciate it. Oh, I stole a baby. And on the way home, I, uh, I very gently stole a baby elk. And I was like, oh, aunt, my poor little aunt. And then literally, like, for the next, like, week, I just sit on Ant. I'm like, okay, Ant, like, you're gonna get better. I'm not gonna leave your side because I didn't make it part of the challenge rules, but I, I very much think that Sprout Wolves, um, if one of their pups is sick, like, they sit on them the whole time and they pray to the pup god and they howl and they just hope, like, oh my gosh, you know, please heal my daughter. And so that's what, uh, he did. I didn't realize that the little golden heart, like, exactly like you you have to be really on top um of her and eventually i figured it out and that's when i really start just like oh no okay like I, i'm i see now i cannot leave you at all oh got a little snack pack i wanted to stock up the uh prey because i really didn't want to leave aunt um i i i had been watching um the there's a youtuber named small aunt 
And I was watching him for literally seven hours while I played this, but... Oh, here's where I take a screenshot, and I'm probably typing to Discord right now. Um, it started raining after he was howling, and I... This part made me so, like, emotional when I played, because I was like... Maybe the pup god, you know, really is listening, and she'll she'll heal Ant, because Ant just kept getting sicker and sicker. I think Ant was down to, like, 20 health at some point, and so I just took a bunch of pictures with her, and I stayed next to her, because I was just so worried, and, but she seemed okay, like, she was still playing with her sisters. I don't, I don't know if her sisters knew, you know, how sick she was. Other, I mean, I'm sure she, they like heard their parents talking and stuff, but she was like still being playful. Um, I think we're at 12 pounds and more coyotes. Ooh, coyotes. Driving me crazy, but got more food, came back. Yeah, I bring them a few more little, little, little like, meat things. I wonder if this could be used as a tutorial, like if someone you know, doesn't know how to play and just wants to watch someone. <laughs> that, uh, that might be fun, too. But, yeah, if uh, you like these videos, definitely let me know. Because um, I could do separate ones that are just this gameplay. Um, and not, like, after the challenges. But, oh, I might do the next challenge tonight. I might do a uh, gem pack. I don't know yet. But, okay, what are we looking at the map for? Oh, I'm sure I'm paused. All right, paused, and we're back. Aw, got to keep our pack affinity high, heart high, all of that. We sleep. Oh, I kept sleeping, hoping she would get better, and howling. I kept howling. I did not leave her sight. Oh, wolves. Oh, there was another sprout wolf that did. Oh, my gosh. That's so rude. It's so rude. Like, they're, like, the, like not bad guys of the pack, but they're definitely, like, not as, like, looked up upon, you know, if they're breaking the the laws by hunt, like, hurt, yeah, because you're not supposed to hurt your pack mates, like, at all, so. Rude. Rude wolves. Maybe they were just jealous. Like, I imagine some of them might be bachelors, you know, and they're just, like, angry that they're not having puppies, maybe. I don't know. Each wolf could uh, really have, like, its own reason for being like that but I guess I paused again the second the first playthrough at like that five hours I played without like stopping or blinking I swear but the second one I was like it was during the day and I think I had to keep pausing but there's not that much more which is good or bad depending on if you like this <laughs> video I'm hoping I'll come on come on past me look at the pack info just pause on the pack info that way I can see what what pounds we're at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, he only has ten um, hexes. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think at the beginning you have to have fifteen. So he really, really didn't really keep on that. But oh, okay, nineteen pounds and eighteen pounds. So we just have to get all of them to twenty pounds. Um, so we're we're almost to the weight. But little little seed, she she uh, kind of holds us up at the end. But that's okay. We're just, we're staying right on top of Ant. We're not moving. We're just all cuddling her. I even, like, he wolf, or wolf, I keep going, wolf brown even regurgitated some. Maybe she wanted some, like, comfort regurgitation food. I don't know. He, <gasps> and then she recovered, and I, like, I gasped. I was, like, I was so sure she was going to die because she was truly at, like, 20, third, third, 20 or 30 percent, and I was, like, you know, she's going to pass away soon. And so I just like, oh my gosh, I got so, so, so excited. And, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, I think I paused here. Give me one second. Okay, we are back. Yeah, I had to uh, edit a little bit, but okay. So we're back. So Pebble is 20 pounds already, and we're just waiting for Ant and Seed to get there. But I'm feeling good. Brown is feeling good. Um... The daughter that he really was scared he was going to lose, you know, is better. Um, and she slowly over time does heal, which was just, like, so cool. And, you know, just made it, oh, so worth it. Keeping all the puppies together. And just enjoying our time here. Um, 
he's feeling really good you know he's like we did it him and starlet i think go out for one last big hunt before the puppies you know age age up i guess oh they went to get some water um they thought about hunting the moose but instead they hunted this the moose pup the moose like foal um but then starlet like loses it i pick it up and then we ended up getting another like prey but it was really weird what had happened was like starlet picked it up and then ran and then it vanished and so we had to end up getting something else but we uh we quickly went out now that we knew that ant was better and we brought back some food and um he just wants to like ride out the rest of this oh coyotes were such a problem like, I mean, I'm, I, I'm thankful because, like, bears could be even a bigger problem and cougars could be, like, an even bigger, bigger problem. Um, oh, we lost little Seed. I was just like, Seed, please eat, you guys. At the very end, I could tell that they were getting really, like, like anxious. Like, they were, some of them were over 20 pounds and they really wanted to just go and, and, and see the world. And I had to keep being like, guys, we gotta wait, you know, your sister your youngest sister and they were they're bullying her a little even a uh, aunt that was feeling less sick now <laughs> oh such a cute group picture oh i i'm gonna miss these guys i really hope if you watch this whole thing you'll feel inspired to try the challenge or adopt one of the wolves i'd love to see them uh continue oh he's bringing bringing pebble back yeah and so at the very end of this we're gonna show what all the puppies look like as adults and wow i was so blown away so if you've stuck in this long you know you're almost there and we're gonna we're gonna see what they look like and it's it's ugh, totally worth it oh he was smiling in that picture see trying to run away again they really did at the end really like try to keep running away the beginning when they were little it wasn't so bad <laughs> oh and here we go we did it oh and here we go we're saving the game and then um i think i just like look around for a little and try to figure some stuff out here we get to see uh who is this pebble and and okay oh <gasps> Oh, okay, so here is Pebble. She was beautiful. I love the lighter markings on her face. I think she is, like, the prettiest. She's the one I would probably play as. And then we have sickly little Ant. Poor, poor Ant. Oh, I felt so bad for her. I think I was taking screenshots. Yeah, so Ant definitely, you know, got sick. Has never been the healthiest. Got, you know, captured by humans for a little bit and stuff. But, uh... Oh, Seed was beautiful, too. I think, like, she has leopards, like, colors. So beautiful. But um, that's all I have time for. If you watched all this, thank you so much. And please subscribe. I hope you liked this. Leave a comment. What was your favorite part? And I will see you guys later. Bye.